Hey guys, this is part 3 of Leave PHP from Scratch. In this video, we are going to be looking at using controllers and also integrating with other libraries. So, in case you have another library which you want to use together with Leaf, you can integrate it. Yeah. So, let's get into it. There's a project we've been developing so far. Um, so, I'm going to create a new file and name it controller.php because we obviously need a controller in order to use it. So a controller is just a file, um, kind of like a class, it's just a class, nothing more, nothing too fancy. So we can just say class controller. Um, class controller and then we can have a public function um, I'll just say home and then it echoes home right so let's just say this is our controller and then we want to use it's over here right so the first thing we will do is we'll have to bring in our controller yeah so require um, we'll say controller.php So require controller.php and then remember our controller class name is controller so we can simply say um, let me do this down here in fact let me just copy this so when we want to use a controller as a route, we just define a simple normal route. But then instead of the second parameter being a function like this, we use the controller here. So the name of our class is controller. So then we just say controller. Oh, no, I got the spelling correct. Yes. So controller. So when we go to our base route, is the controller function, sorry, the controller class, which will handle it. But then that's not all. We have to define a particular method. We do this with at. So controller at home. And this is actually a string. Sorry about that. So controller at home. So controller at home. That's all we have to do. So let's go to our browser and we'll say controller. And then we get home. This home is from here. Echo home. Well, right now we are not really using any actual controller. That's just a simple class to demonstrate how to use controllers. So you might not see the power behind controllers just yet. Right. So the next thing we are going to be looking at is integrating with other libraries. Right. So let's say you have a simple library, a library which, um, who knows, um, let's say the library, um, Oh, yeah, let's use one of Leaf's components as an example. So we'll say use Leaf core. Um, um, let's just say, um, let's just use the request. Let's just use the request one. The request Leaf core. Sorry, leave call HTTP request. 
leave call HTTP request and then we say request equals new equals new request so if this is um, a library you sort of installed you have your vendor autoload.php here which will dynamically load this so let's just say this is an outer library so we initialize it here so request equals new request so if we want to use it in any of our routes all we have to do here is say use request and that's all you will be able to use the request in here that's that's how working with other libraries is so I know you saw this here and we said use leaf that's so we say use and then we pass in whatever we want to use whatever we want to be able to use inside our function yeah so that's so we looked at um working with controllers there's an example controller and then we looked at um using other libraries right so in the next video we'll be looking at leaves core request object hope to see you in the next video